A short video here. I've been experimenting with a custom gauge for the Nexion display and I wanted to share it with you guys. There are three things I don't like about the traditional gauge included on the Nexion editor. First is the flickering when we refresh the gauge that you can minimize by doing a few things I mentioned before but some flickering is always there. Second is that you can't put any object inside the square where the gauge is or they will flicker too. And the third thing I don't like about the traditional gauge is that you can only change the size and width of the needle, but not the shape. So what some people had done, including myself, is create a bunch of images of a gauge on every value and include them to the next project so you can load the correct image depending on the value you want to show. You can create the images with Photoshop or any image editor you want but it's time consuming and it uses a lot of flash memory of the display. So this strategy is not for everyone. But if you really want a good looking gauge that doesn't flicker and want another object near the gauge, this is the solution. It also looks nicer because you can make the images with anti-aliasing. And the same concept can be even used to show short videos and animations. I experimented with a short clip at 30 frames per second and works pretty well. But consider that I have the enhanced version with a faster CPU so this might not work as well on slower models. Anyway, what I did is to add the images to my project in the correct order and remap the range of the value I'm going to use to match the number of images the gauge has. On this case it goes from 0 to 208 so I remapped the RPM that goes from 0 to 8000 to match the images. I later send that value to the object called tag that is right here. And this happens on the loop so we are continuously sending the value to the gauge. For my test, I use a potentiometer to simulate an RPM sensor, so I had to remap the value of the potentiometer to send a value from 0 to 8000. Optionally, you can smooth the gauge with this code, which makes it look more realistic. And here you can choose which value to use. Anyway, as always, you can download the files on the description, and I hope it's helpful for you. See ya!